Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Yes, so enters another week of lockdown. Uh, I calculated just week five, but they were saying it was week six on the TV. But like everything, it's all just blurring into one at the moment. Um, I'm having a little difficulty in remembering what day it is, even though uh, I'm still working, but working from home, um, even though there is a distinction between uh, working week and weekend it's still becoming increasingly difficult to sort of uh, decide what day of the week it actually is luckily I have calendars uh, so I can tell um, things that have changed I think uh, during the lockdown one I'm getting more exercise I'm doing more cycling um, even though it is the same route going round and round and round um, I do have a different route, but, but the one that I use most is actually the quicker one because um, uh, it's more or less flattish. Um, so uh, the the alternative route uh, is probably the same distance, but it does take longer because I have to go up a bigger hill. Well, sort of, it's not that steep, but it's quite long, and uh, I don't do hills quick. Um, and um, my culinary skills are getting better, yes, so uh, I've moved on from um, chilli, which is a good staple. Uh, I've made um, vegan scones. Um, as you can see, they didn't really look um, that appetising, but they were very nice, actually. I also have done... Um, uh, what else have I done? I've done, uh, oh, um, pineapple upside down cake. Yes, I uh, made a couple of them. They're really, really nice. Um, even though it's quite an old fashioned uh, recipe. And um, I branched out into chickpea and tomato curry. Yes, there we are. Yes, but heaven knows what I'm going to be like by the time uh, I get we get to the end of this lockdown. Probably be uh, able to get a... Um, job as a uh, chef or I might even win master chef <laughs> uh, some up in that um uh, as we say really oh um seem to also be uh, doing a lot more talking to the neighbors because uh, in London uh, it's um it's very difficult sometimes living in a flat to, um, you know you sort of wave at the neighbors you don't really see them very much. Uh, but I'm seeing them a lot more now and having a lot more chats. Um, mowed the lawn last uh, uh, Saturday. Was it Saturday? Yes, I did Saturday on the, on the lawn, with the lawn. Mowed the lawn and um, as I was finishing, uh, normally I leave uh, leave the grass clippings to blow away. Um, num the chap who lives in number 13 came out and said, I'll, I'll, I'll rake them up. Um, so... I, I gave him the rake uh, and he made a very, very good job of it. Uh, it took him a rather long time um, and uh, uh, I didn't really stand over and what, what, stand around and watch him doing it. Um, so um, I said, when you're finished, just put the rake back in the, uh, in the cupboard. Because um, we've all got cupboards uh, sort of the bottom of our stairs, which used to be bin cupboards. But when the council introduced wheelie bins, the wheelie bins were too big for the bin cupboards. So they're now just sort of normal cupboards for junk and stuff. Um, and um, he so did it, he put it back. So it was very nice. Um, <laughs> I think he wanted to get out to, to, to uh, do something. Um, but I must admit, he did a very good job of raking the grass. Far better than when I managed to rake the grass. Uh, so, until next week, uh, which will be, well, well, the next week of lockdown. The reviewing it next week. Um, I doubt we'll actually have any movement. May have a little bit. Uh, it would be nice if we could start moving forward, but uh, uh, we've got to make sure there isn't another massive peak of this virus. Um, but... Um, I think we might just get a little bit of, uh, uh, shall we say, um, easement. Won't be much, but he is hoping. So, until next week, um, goodbye.